What is up everybody? This is Stock Market Education and today we're going to be looking at AMD and deciding whether or not it's a buy. Let's get into it. First, I'll talk about the not so good things that we see with AMD stock, and then I'll talk about the good things that we see. And before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button and click subscribe. It really helps the channel out by getting the YouTube algorithm's attention, and seeing more likes really motivates me to create more videos. With that being said, let's get into it. AMD engages in the semiconductor business, including GPUs, which is pretty much the brain for any system of chip product. And if we look at the inside trading for the most recent quarter, we can see that it's pretty much mixed between buying and selling. Sold, bought, sold, bought, sold, bought, pretty much all the way down with slightly more sellers than there were buyers for the past quarter which isn't something that I like to see because all of these inside trades are done by people who know the company inside and out. So that is an area that raises a red flag for me, even if it's even between buying and selling. We can see that AMD has a market cap of $59.6 billion and they have a PE ratio of 119.47, which is very high for this space that they're in. And if we compare AMD's PE ratio compared to their competitors, we can see that AMD has the highest PE ratio in the space. And when you see a high PE ratio like this, it pretty much means that a lot of future growth has already been priced into the stock. And if we look at this graph, we can see that AMD's revenues are growing faster than any other company in the market and it's not even close and their earnings yield is one of the worst in the sector however they have improved significantly over the past year and we'll take a closer look into that later in the video and in the most current earnings report their service segment revenues fell short compared to analyst expectations if we look at their balance sheet summary, we can see that they have $1.3 billion in cash, which is up $191 million compared to Q1 of 2019. And it's extremely impressive when you compare that to their total debt of $563 million, which is down $800 million year over year, which is extremely impressive and has put them in a strong position to write out short-term uncertainties. And taking a look at the trends in cash, we can see that they've been steadily increasing since Q2 of 2018. If we take a look at their revenues, we can see that they took a big hit in revenues between Q4 2019 and Q1 2020. However, AMD is still up 40% year over year, which is very strong revenue growth. If we look at gross margin, we can see that gross margin has steadily increased since Q2 of 2018 and is currently at 46%, which is extremely impressive growth margins. However, if we look at Q2 estimates, we can see that AMD is expecting to do $1.85 billion in revenue and have a 44% gross margin. And $1.85 billion is more than they just reported, which is great. However, it's not that much growth for a company like AMD. And second quarters are the best quarters for AMD historically, as well as gross margin is expected to decrease by 2%. One of the most important things that we're seeing with AMD is that they're increasing in profitability. Net income went from $16 million last year all the way up to $162 million in Q1 2020 for a percentage increase of 912% absurd net income growth and that gets me extremely excited about amd and if we look at earnings per share we can see that they went from one cents earnings per share all the way up to 14 cents earnings per share for a percentage increase of 1300 percent that's ridiculous growth 1300 percent earnings increase year over year and 912 percent increase of net income year over year and one of the main questions is, will this growth be sustained in upcoming years? And AMD has areas that they're expected to grow in. Their CEO said in an earnings call that AMD currently has 135 mobile platforms expected to come out in 2020, which is a massive amount of mobile platforms, 135. And also the new PlayStation and Xbox consoles are coming out in December of 2020, both of which have AMD's GPUs inside of them, which will be a massive growth opportunity for AMD inside the gaming industry. And it's been about five years since PlayStation and Xbox came out with a new console, which is a pretty long time for consoles. 
and it feels like it's been forever and we've had a new console come out potentially creating pent-up demand in the market so these are some of the areas that AMD could grow in the near term future. I don't own AMD stock right now, however it's an interesting industry to look into. There are so many competitors in this space so I would want to research as many companies as possible like, like Nvidia, Intel, and Micron devices to be able to pick the best company. However, AMD is the fastest growing company in the sector by far and it's not even close. And if you're a growth investor, I'd recommend looking further into AMD and Nvidia. And if you're more of a value investor, I'd suggest taking a look into Intel. Thank you guys for watching the video. Click the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye.